All right, what's going on, you savage sons of bitches? It is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I told you guys. I told you, motherfuckers. I said Tuesday. <laughs> it said, er, it said, er, and it said, er. <laughs> Typical for fucking for uh, markets on Tuesdays. Uh, I was up late last night. Uh, I promised you guys in that video last night I'd get to you emails today. So I just finished those. Uh, God, I don't know how Lou does it. I don't. The last time I talked to him, I think he said he's getting like 8,000, 8, 8, 10,000 emails a day, something like that. <sighs> I spent the last three hours responding to emails. So I appreciate all the love you guys sent in the emails. There was a grip of them. There was no questions. They just wanted to show support and love. And um, I appreciate it. Lou appreciates it. Bill appreciates it. Rod appreciates it. There was a bunch of love for, for uh, Rod and Vaughn. Oh. So how's everybody how's everyone doing today not a whole hell of a lot going on um shout out to uh edgar got his email replied to he's a good dude and then i got danny down in riverside um one of my brothers um and then i've also got uh an another individual from uh, my law enforcement family and then uh, he's got a bunch of his brothers and sisters in on it here in riverside county so uh I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your service. When I'm leaving to go do my thing and get into my patrol car, you guys are taking care of my family while I'm gone. So I love you guys. I understand what you're doing. I understand you guys. Some of you guys, you're past that retirement date. I get it. I get it. So you guys stay frosty out there. You guys stay safe. Uh, remember this This shit is coming to an end here in the, the not so, not so distant uh, future and to uh keep each other's spirits up not every day is a market day everyone likes to look every day but that tends to wear a motherfucker down so i know i try not to do it i looked at the open this morning and then i looked at the close i know what tuesdays are we'll have a little bump bump tomorrow a little rump it'll jump up but it's wednesdays when we come back into friday and they'll chop it back down to avoid the the options shenanigans but outside of the market um what i will say is i've gotten a lot of firearms questions a lot of uh, prep questions if you guys are not following fieldcraft survival please jump over follow fieldcraft survival mike glover his entire team they will answer a bunch of your prep items i'm good at it but it's because i've learned that shit over the course of my life you know how to grow food how to harvest food um, sourcing fresh water, so on and so forth, being able to put yourself in a position where, you know, you know the weather, the inclement weather through the year where you can survive there. Um, Mike and his team over there, they do they do courses. They're out of Heber City, Utah. They do courses to get you guys spun up and trained in how to provide fucking first aid medical care, uh, proper use of tourniquets, uh, firearms courses. I know Mike's a big hunter as well. Um, so yeah, uh, they do instagram i think they have a field craft survival field craft mobility uh page here on uh yeah they do on uh yankee tango on youtube here and then uh i know they do on twitter as well reach out if you got any questions mike and his team he's got guys from all over the country probably people that live right there where you live that, that'll get you guys spun up um and he's got a constant uh flow of classes every month uh, quarterly stuff so uh, that's a def definitely a good way to get uh, the education that you need right there in your communities and uh, it's a real fair price it's not free obviously you know cost cost some stuff to uh, put these courses on uh, outside of that uh, firearms I'm not going to answer specific firearms questions because um, everybody's hands are different my my firearm of choice may not fit in your hands and I don't want anybody to uh, go out and invest in something that doesn't work for them. So uh, find a good firearms instructor in your area to be able to get you taken care of and set up um, with the proper firearm to fit your hands and then be able to teach you how to use it. What I will say is that with all that being said, if you do have a firearm, make sure that you know the liabilities that come along with it and how to use it properly and you are getting that training. When you do purchase a firearm, the price tag has nothing to do with your selection. So let me help you with that right now. If you look at a price tag and decide that's not your gun, go home. Go in there and find the gun that fits your hand properly 
then look at the price tag. If you don't have enough for it, go home until you do. Do not, do not, do not sacrifice quality because of price. You get what you pay for, just like everything in life, you get what you pay for, so take the time and do it right. Uh, with that being said, um, I'm not sure if we're going to do a call today or not, but it, it's a good possibility. I'm going to jump on Twitter right now and uh, harass uh, Vonnie and Beth. And I'm going to fuck with Blue Ice, too, just because I do. You know, it's my <laughs> it's the Greek, bro. I got to fuck with the Greek every day. Uh, Lou, yeah, that's a guarantee. Uh, I've been fucking with him all morning. So um, what I was talking about yesterday with uh, in the, the evening as far as uh, mental toughness, 75 hard, hashtag 75 hard, you on the Andy Frazillas page, uh, motherfucking CEO project, MF CEO project, he's got a podcast, uh, for those of y'all that asked, he puts out boatloads of information, and he's got a no bullshit approach, like Lou and I, and he is a fucking patriot, there's not a more American guy that I know, an entrepreneur and a business owner, and he's teaching people all over the country and the world how to be entrepreneurs and business owners. The guy's legit. He backs his bullshit up with results. So 75 Heart is his program. He just put out a book on it as well. If you guys are interested in that, check it out. It pays dividends. It's the, it's the hardest, hardest 75 days of your life, but the most rewarding as well. So if you guys have any questions about anything that uh, I talked about today, anything that's going on out there in the real world, anything that's going on uh, on the market or not going on on the market, hit me up. I'll be more than happy to uh, throw a line down for two. Like I said, um, I have two emails pending. I don't want to get, that's cool. I ain't never seen that. I got two emails pending. I don't want to get emails from either one of either one of you motherfuckers. Not yet. I have to review some shit before I can respond to y'all. One, I have to review a DM and then get with my people. And then the other one, dude's a fucking genius. He's a fucking genius. Greg, you know I'm talking about you. He's a fucking genius, so I got to look at his shit. Because I'm not about to push information that's bad that I'm not fucking fully tracking on yet. So I'll get back to those two emails that I still have outstanding. And if y'all have any questions between here now and the fence post, I love you guys. Hit me up. Until next time, Mr. Elksbidig, check it out.